Today we will learn about endocrine control. In the previous video, we learned that nervous control coordinates various functions in our body. But not every cell in our body is connected to nervous system. Therefore, the nervous system cannot carry the electrical impulse to all the cells of the body. Similarly, when electrical impulses are generated and circulated by a cell, it takes some time for it to resume its mechanism before producing and transmitting another impulse. That is, cells do not generate and communicate electrical impulses continuously. Similarly, neural coordination is fast but only for a short time. In our body, hormones are used to carry signals to all the cells of the body and to maintain the coordination in the body for a long time. Hormones are non-nutritious chemicals that are produced in the body in a very low concentration. They are used to carry signals to various cells of the body. Therefore, hormones are called Chemical messengers. Synthesis and secretion of hormones in animals is done by the endocrine glands. The mechanism that regulates various functions of all organs, tissues, and cells of the body by the secretion of hormones is called the endocrine system. All the endocrine glands of our body are part of endocrine system. The endocrine glands do not have ducts, so the endocrine glands are called ductless glands. The hormones produced by them are secreted directly into the blood. With the blood, the hormones reaches all the cells of the body. Therefore, the location of the synthesis of hormones and the place of action in the body are different. The main endocrine glands in the human body are as shown. Let's understand them. The pituitary gland is present below the hypothalamus in the forebrain part of our brain. The pituitary gland secretes various hormones in our body, such as growth hormone which control the growth and development of the body. If the secretion of growth hormone is high during childhood, then there is abnormal growth of the body, which is called gigantism. If the secretion of growth hormone is less during childhood, growth is blocked and height of the body does not increase, which is called dwarfism. When the level of growth hormone decrease in the body, the hypothalamus secretes the growth hormone releasing factor which causes the pituitary gland to secrete growth hormone. Thus, hormones produced by the hypothalamus regulate the synthesis and secretion of hormones secreted by the pituitary gland. The penal gland is present in the upper part of the forebrain. It secretes melatonin hormone. Melatonin regulates the body's daily 24 hours rhythm. That is, it controls sleep-wake cycle and temperature. Thyroid gland is present in our throat. is made up of two lobes where each lobe is present on either side of the respiratory tract. Therefore, the shape of the thyroid gland resembles that of the butterfly. Thyroid gland synthesizes and secretes thyroxine hormone. Thyroxine controls the metabolism of carbohydrates, proteins and fat in our body. Therefore, thyroxine mainly helps in the regulation of the basal metabolic rate of the body and provides suitable balance 
for the growth of the body. Thyroid gland synthesizes thyroxine hormone with the help of iodine. Iodine is therefore required for synthesis of thyroxine at normal rates. So, we should take iodized salt. Iodine deficiency reduces the synthesis of thyroxine known as hypothyroidism. It leads to the disease called goiter. In this disease, there is a growth of thyroid gland and swelling in the neck. If the synthesis and secretion of thyroxine is high in the body, then the level of thyroxine is increased, which is called hyperthyroidism. There are four parathyroid glands present on the posterior surface of the thyroid gland, which secrete parathyroid hormone, parathyroid hormone, increases calcium levels in the blood. The thymus gland is present between the two lungs. It secretes thymosin hormone. Thymosin hormone assists in the development of the immune system. An adrenal gland is present above each kidney which secretes adrenaline hormone in the blood. Adrenaline reaches to the heart and various parts of the body through blood. Adrenaline increases the heart rate due to which there is more blood supply to the muscles of the body. Therefore, more oxygen reaches the muscles. In the presence of adrenaline, the muscles around the digestive system and the small arteries of the skin shrink. As a result, the supply of blood in the digestive system and skin decreases. This causes more blood to the skeletal muscles. Therefore, there is a contraction of diaphragm and the rib muscles and the breathing rate increases. Adrenaline also causes pupillary dilation, goosebumps and sweat secretion. All these responses together help the body to deal with an emergency. In an emergency, the secretion of adrenaline increases, so it is called the emergency hormone or the fight hormone. So, adrenaline is called fight, flight or fright hormone. Pancreas are present behind the stomach in our body. It secretes insulin hormone. Insulin helps in controlling the sugar level in the blood. If it is secreted in small amounts, the level of sugar in the blood rises. This causes a disease called diabetes. Diabetes patients take less sugar in their diet and are injected with insulin for treatment. In males, a pair of testers secretes testosterone hormone. Testosterone helps in production of sperm. It also stimulates muscle growth, low pitch voice, aggressiveness, growth of face and axillary hairs. A pair of ovaries in the female secrete estrogen hormone. Estrogen assists in the growth of ovarian follicle and mammary glands. It causes development of high pitch voice and secondary sexual characters in females. All these changes occurs at the age of 10 to 12 years and are associated with puberty. In this way, various hormones control the growth, metabolism and development of the body. Lack or excess of any hormone level in the body causes many diseases. Therefore, it is necessary to have hormone secretion in a precise quantity in the body. Therefore, the feedback mechanism controls the timing and the amount of hormone secretion. In the feedback mechanism, 
a substance present in the body regulates the secretion of the hormone due to which the hormone is secreted as per requirement in the body for example the cell of the pancreas detects the level of sugar in the blood when the level of sugar in the blood increases the secretion of insulin from the pancreas also increases and when the level of sugar in the blood decreases the secretion of insulin from the pancreas also decreases thus the level of sugar in the blood is controlled insulin helps in controlling sugar level in the blood now you must have understood that the endocrine system also assist in the control and coordination of the body therefore the nervous system and the endocrine system together perform the function of control and coordination in the body so today we have learned about endocrine control control